Hello everyone, my name is Ruan and welcome back to learning computer science in two years. So you might have realized that this week's video or this video has been a bit delayed in comparison to the other ones. I tend to release my videos on a Sunday. However, things just didn't work out the, the last week. I want to do something a little bit different, right? I want to take this opportunity to actually change up the format not the format but just how I'm approaching uh, these videos or maybe this specific video just so I can catch up and get up to date again and uh, it also seems like we're gonna have a cat who's gonna join us for this uh, video hey move 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 okay she's behind the monitor now What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna look at the last two weeks of my studies, right? So that would be starting on the 21st of November all the way up to, well, actually, hmm, that's not even all of it, all the way up to the 4th of um, December, right? So it doesn't actually even fit. So the first thing I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna hide a few of these columns, right? So let's tied a couple of columns i mean we know they're there now we can see a little bit more and i can speak to you guys about what i'm doing a little bit easier from the 21st up to the 4th right so you'll see that i did 35 and a half hours now do the math that is not a lot right that is between somewhere between 17 and 18 hours every week so i have my reasons for why i didn't do this that well um, you'll notice in the first week, I almost didn't do any programming. And that's because I was fiddling with my laptop, um, trying to install Linux. I thought I was going to go, um, you know, from Windows to Linux. It turns out that uh, a lot of other things didn't really work out the way I wanted them to. And after about three installs of Linux, going back to Windows, then Linux again, and then eventually I just gave up. I went to Windows so that... Uh, other things like Outlook, etc., just kind of works. Yeah, and there's also a bunch of software that I use for work that is just not available or compatible with Linux, it turns out. So in the end, Windows, it is. So I'm just going to have to live with that. But yeah, that, that cost me a few days. I literally spent like half a day for four days in a row installing and then setting stuff up and then figuring out that this doesn't work or that doesn't work finding a workaround, that's kind of how you do it with Linux, and then uh, giving up, going back to Windows. And then I think about something and I, ah, no, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna relive that, that process here. I'm just gonna say that that's what happened. So I didn't do any programming for a while. Um, I just focused on the calculus, on the math. But that all changed in the second week because I gave up um, with the Linux thing. And I really did like go all out on the programming. And I was actually doing very well um, on week two. I was easily going to get to 30 hours without any issues. And then the weekend came around and I had to work the entire weekend. Like I literally worked until Sunday evening. So that actually meant that I couldn't even record a video um, on the weekend, which I mean, that's unfortunate. So it's been rough. I've really been struggling to get all my studies in the way I would like to, but uh I guess that's life. Hey, eh? that's that's how it's gonna go. I don't actually have <laughs> the luxury of doing this full time. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna have to fit in with all the other things that happen um, because it's it's really not my top priority. Obviously, um, surviving <laughs> that's top priority. Keeping my job top priority. Let's talk about what I actually did. So first of all, you'll see on Monday I just finished off the this cat seriously. Seriously, seriously, stop it. On Monday, I finished off Calculus 1B and the missing semester of your CS education. Like I mentioned in the previous video, I was just basically done with those. So this cat is, is really in the way today. So I was pretty much done and uh, I just needed to tie up some loose ends and then I just jumped over to the next course of Calculus 1C. And uh, yeah, it's been going good. I've been making some progress. It's it's a lot shorter of a course, so it also it almost I'm almost already you know 
halfway done with the first unit, which is ridiculous because there's only two units. Uh, so yeah, this is probably going to go very fast, uh, which is fine. It is a shorter course, and that's to be expected. Then I started with NAND to Tetris, or core systems, you know, uh, which is build a model computer from first principles from NAND to Tetris. Now this is potentially my favorite course to date, right? I have not enjoyed anything as much as I've enjoyed this course. And not because the, the presenters or the lecturers are uh, super energetic or dynamic in the way they teach or anything like that. It's not, that's not the reason why. The reason I'm enjoying is, is just because they really get down into the nitty gritties. Like you, you, <laughs> you start literally from a NAND gate and you build your chipset for your computer from that. You build your CPU, you build your RAM, you, you, you couple those together, you get a computer. So currently I've completed the, um, most of the basic chips. I've completed the RAM. I've completed the arithmetic logic unit, the ALU. I think that's basically the main things that you need to do. And uh, my next task is actually to build a computer now, to link all these together, to build a CPU chip uh, first, and then to link that to RAM and ROM. And then I'm probably going to be writing some proper code. Uh, yeah, we did do a bit of assembler or assembly code, a machine language code. And uh, we also have to write an assembler ourselves and then a compiler ourselves. And then an operating system, etc., etc., until you get to actually being able to write a game in some higher level language. Now, that is, if that is not super intriguing to you, uh, maybe computer science is not the course for you. <laughs> or maybe at least um, systems is not really your thing because... This, I'm geeking out about this every single dime, time I'm working with it. I'm absolutely in love with the principle of building a computer from scratch. Um, it feels like, and if you have a little bit of electric and electrical engineering background, it is, it's even better, right? Because now you, I mean, you know how to build a chip out of transistors. And now you can see how you combine multiple of these chips or the most basic NAND chip, which you can build out of transistors. Now you can see how you're combining these to actually get a computer in the end. And it, it's really, really cool. I'm enjoying this a lot. Unfortunately, I could not spend as much time as I wanted to because yeah, like I said, the weekend kind of blew me away. Um, yeah, but in the coming week, I'm certainly going to go back to this um, course and I'm sure to enjoy it even more and i cannot wait for the next parts i'm almost afraid to finish this course because uh, is anything else going to be as cool <laughs> i hope so jeez it'd be kind of sad if this is the highlight of the whole osu course so what's my plans going forward so things have been getting very difficult and i've been really trying to hold on to this 30 hour goal of mine and I've, i'm just not even getting close so i'm going to reduce that by about five hours for now not permanently, maybe for a few weeks, because we are heading into like the festive season. You know, I want to spend more time with my family, maybe. And I also still have work obligations, specifically the, the, the big project that I moaned about a couple of weeks ago. It's back in full swing. So I really need to get get that thing done ASAP. I need to take all of this into consideration and then fit in my studies where I can. So I'm going to try and dial it back and see how that goes. Ah, and I'll let you know. That's everything I needed or wanted to say. I will I will also be trying to make these videos a bit more lined up with my actual progress. You might have noticed that the video comes out a week after the week I did the studies. Um, so it's always a week delay between where I'm actually at with my progress and when the video is released. And I want to get that a bit tighter, right? Maybe a day or two delay, but not a whole week. So maybe I'll shift around um, the days on which I give feedback or something like that. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll see if I can figure this out. But I really want to take try and make that gap a bit smaller so it makes more sense for you guys following the course. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.